didn't know this was going to happen with my life. He just a freak about puppets. And it's going to be his livelihood. Glenn Jones loves what he does. And he needs to be recognized because he's good at what he do. guy he used to sit up and take his little his granddaddy's socks and just literally destroy them and make little puppets and and we used to say what in the world are you doing with your little silly self I remember I was, uh, I, was, uh, I, was, uh, I was eight years old and it was I just had this dream it was just a dream that I had a long time ago uh, man I was I grew up in Sesame Street Big Bird, and uh, 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 that's, that's the only one I know, actually. Sure, he made puppets out of my white socks. I just bought a pack of 10. He cut the whole damn pack up, made all socks, made sock puppets out of them, and I whooped his ass. He, he was a character with that sock puppet. It just wasn't going to make it, you know, but he was a good kid. Had no problems with him, but he uh, he was you know crazy about making socks puppets and all that kind of stuff. But can you believe it? Forty-five years old, still downstairs making sock puppets. No, come on. But that's his lifestyle. <laughs> Teenager, I would come in and just jump on my bed. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Uh oh, oh I'm okay. I'm good. Uh, the way I get my ideas for my puppets, they just, they, they just got in my head. You know, it pop right in my head right now. You know. That's the idea right now. What? Watch it. Hold on. Watch it. Whatever. Oh. Are you serious? A person make puppeteers gonna do some sports? He's forty-five years old. He's still downstairs doing puppeteering. He can't even make a kid laugh, man. Can you understand that? No. He didn't play sports. He didn't do anything but put a sock on him. Stuff a sock, make him a little face, and keep on trucking it and back and forth wherever he goes, trying to get some attention. Uh, I want to show y'all uh where I get my stuff. Let me show you what uh here you go. What this here? Uh, oh oh, here you go. I found it. Here you go. Yeah. See this all the pure, the pure cotton. You see this? Let me see. Let me tell you something. Look at that. You see that? See how stretchy that is? Well, you, you know, when you make a sock puppet, it's all about the material. All about the material. It's all about the cotton. You gotta, you gotta get that smooth cotton. Smooth and white. Keep it white. All white socks. He didn't care what people thought. He really didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't care what people thought. When he started liking girls, oh my goodness. He did not have no inkling what to do. 
he probably could have made him a little puppy girlfriend. Where the hell were you at? I needed you. I ain't had nobody pick me up. I was out there in the streets. I had to call uh, Theodore to give me a ride home. Don't leave me without me. You look at me when I'm talking to you. You know, by him being 45 years old, he, he still loves us and he takes care of us, you know. He got good qualities. Don't mind the flow, you know, don't mind that, you know. It's, I ain't clean up at all. You know, usually I like to keep my bed sheets with a little style. Watch it, watch it. Ooh, look at that boy. Boy, I sleep in the garden. I just feel the artistic, creative ability just flowing through my skin, you know, just, just come through this bed. You know what I'm saying? Look at the material. Back then, I used to uh, get my daddy's socks and put them on the floor and get the seals. I cut them up and I'll make me a shop puppet. Make me a big old shop puppet. I put it on the dresser, put the, uh, 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 the Google eyes. I put the Google eyes on it and uh, daddy came home. He saw it. He took another pair of brand new socks, cut them up into puppets, and he just cannot resist a pair of new socks for puppets. Not old socks, but new socks. Be all right if he let me wear them a couple of times, but he, he gets them as they're brand new. You even got an ass woman so bad that he let the skin marks on his belt. <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty bad. That was especially when he cut up that new pack of tins. On his belt, that's all it is, is ass skin. That's my skin. Two nights ago. I had to whoop his butt about them, them socks, the white socks. So it's always white, not black, not blue, not green, but white. I guess he liked the texture of them, make them feel better to his, his hand or whatever. Oh yeah, I got me a good wide belt, good leather belt. Just about to go out on his ass though. He got to, uh, he got, he got to get a new butt out a while. Cause I just about wore that one out. I believe the definition of happiness is doing what you want to do, what makes you happy, and not caring what other people think. The good part about it, he's making money doing it. He's keeping me food on my table, keeping me fed, and I like that. I can take my retirement checks and go play numbers with them. <laughs> well, I'm blind to hide as hell. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm taking that. Yeah. You can uh, stay here if you want. There's food upstairs. Uh, uh, oh, turn that light on. Turn that light on. Here we go. I would like to tell Glenn that I love him. I'm very proud of him. And he's accomplished the things in life that he wanted to do with his puppets and the recognition that he's beginning to get. He's made, a, he's made a monster out of me to a point of the butt whoopings. But in, in all, you know, I love him. And I always will love him because he's my son.